Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at changing the options so that you are allowed to download a file from an online application such as Photopea, which is what I'm using here, to a location of your choice on your computer and also with the file name of your choice. So let's have a look at the problem. Now Photopea is a free online application and it behaves very much like Photoshop, but one of my subscribers just emailed me and said, you know, the save as function's not working the same as Photoshop. So how am I going to get around that? So here is the answer. Well, here's the problem first and then the answer. So we're going to choose new project. I'm going to just create a document. It doesn't matter what it is because I just want something. I've got a blue foreground color. I'm just going to draw out a rectangular marquee. I'm going to press Alt backspace on the PC that would be Option Delete on the Mac to just fill my document with this blue color. So this is my document. Now it's called New Project PSD. If I don't make any changes when I download this file, firstly it's going to go to my downloads folder and secondly it's going to be called New Project PSD or if there is already a New Project PSD file there because I've done one previously then it's going to have a bracket and a number after it and it's just going to be consecutive numbers. Let's see how that works. File, Save as PSD. Okay, it's New Project bracket one bracket PSD because obviously I had a file that was called new project PSD there and you can't have two files with the same name in the same location and it's been downloaded to my downloads folder. So if I choose show in folder we're going to be taken to my downloads folder and here it is and here's the previous one that I created. So obviously we're getting no choice at all about our file name or our file location. And there is not an option here in Photopea that would allow us to save as a PSD file with our choice of file name. You can also not change your file name in Photopea. So there's no option for renaming a file, for example. So the question then becomes, how are we going to make this work? Let me just interrupt myself here. You can create a new project in Photopea and give it a file name of your choice. But once you've done that, you're stuck with that file name. So let's just take a quick diversion before we go on to the other issue and see how we can give a project a name of our choice as we're creating it. So when I select new project, you'll see up here that it's given the name new project. So if I want to give it a different name such as flower, I can do so. I'm just going to type the name flower. I'm going to choose my width and height, my DPI, my background and all of that and then just click create. So we can control the name of the file but the problem that we're going to encounter is that when we go to save it we won't get a chance of changing the name and we can't change the name inside Photopea. So I just wanted to make that clear before we go on with the rest of the video. So let's head back to it. So the question then becomes how are we going to make this work? Well, the solution is that it's actually controlled by the browser. So if I go over here to my browser options, I'm going down here to settings. Now I'm using Chrome. Inside my settings, there's an advanced option. So I'm going to click here on advanced and I'm going to downloads. And here is where this is all happening. The location for my downloads is my downloads folder and nothing else is set. So everything is automatically going into my downloads folder. I don't have any choice where it is and I don't have any choice about the file name. But if I select this option here, ask where to save each file before downloading, then I get two things. I get the choice of the location to save to and a file name choice. So let's just close out this panel because I've made those changes. And let's go back to File and Save as PSD. Now it's very different. Now I'm given a choice as to where I want to put the file and I'm getting a choice as to its name. Now I can go back and put it in Downloads. That's just fine. I can put it in my Downloads folder, but I might call this blue rectangle. And then I'll just click Save. So this time my project file is given the name that I want to name it and it's put in the location that I want it placed. 
but the actual file itself has not been renamed. If we wanted to be working on the file that actually has this name, blue rectangle, then we would need to close this one and reopen it. Or just be really aware that this is our blue rectangle file and when we made some changes to it, we make sure that we rename it blue rectangle PSD and overwrite its current location when we save it. So let's just see how that might be done. Let me just go and draw a red ellipse. Okay, so we have a red ellipse. We've got a change to our document. I'll choose File and then Save as PSD. I'm going back to the same location. Here is my file, blue rectangle PSD. I'll just click Save. I'm asked if I want to replace the old one. I do in this case. I want to update it, so I'll click Yes. So again, you can see that the file hasn't changed name. It's a little bit funky, but you can actually control your file name and the location with that change to your browser preferences. Now those browser preferences are sticky, so it's going to be the same every time you open PhotoP, but also it's going to be the same for whatever other application you're using. So if you're downloading files from another site, then you're going to find that you're asked where you want to place those files and if you want to change their name. You're going to be given the default name so you don't have to change it, but you might actually find that this is actually a step forward in terms of handling downloads from your browser. You may find it a little inconvenient. You need to hit the balance between convenience in PhotoP or other applications and having to make those choices. Now the other thing is you may not be using Chrome. Well, you'll find that most browsers have this setting in them. So I'm headed over here to Firefox and I've gone to Firefox and I've chosen the options here in Firefox. I've just gone to Options and there is an option here in the Downloads area. So you can see Save Files to Downloads. That's the default, but if you click on Always Ask Where to Save Files, then you're going to get that same choice, but inside Firefox. And if you're using a different browser, just look up for your browser how you set up for the browser to ask you where you want to save your file so that you can make a choice as to file name and location. And then that will make programs like PhotoP, for example, behave more like Photoshop. It's pretty much as close as we can get to that behavior. I hope that this will make it a little bit easier for you to transition to, for example, work in an application like PhotoP. If you enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and that notification bell so you'll be alerted when new videos are released. Until next time, my name's Helen Bradley. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel.